Polar Express Lion Chief Elf Work Train Unboxing, Review, and Test Run. In this video, I'm going to be unboxing and testing the new Elf Work Train. Just arrived, I'm excited to have it, and we're going to get started right now. Hi, I'm Owen. In this video, we'll get our first look at the new addition to the Lionel Polar Express line of products. It's the O Gauge Polar Express Elf Work Train. This is just out. I've just received mine and I'm going to be taking a close look at that cars and the engine and the controls for it. And I'll put it on my Polar Express layout and we'll run it around and see how it works in our first test run. In an earlier video, I unboxed the four pack for the Polar Express Elk fork train. That's four additional cars that are optional and I'm going to be adding those into the train as well to see how they work. There will be time for an operating session after we do the unboxing so we can see three trains running on the layout as well as the Polar Express trolley. This is the box that the Elf work train set comes in. You can see there's a Lion Chief control, remote control, in this as well. There's also the ELF figure pack included, which I didn't know would be part of it, so that's kind of a bonus for me. Now let's get this open and see what we have. There's a protective plastic covering over the whole set, so the first step is to get that torn open. Uh, that seals it, says factory sealed on it, so that gives you some assurance that this has never been opened before, never used before. Once we have that out of the way, Let's get this out. Now here's something I hadn't noticed. It says, now equipped with Bluetooth. Run your train with the Lion Chief app. So we'll see if that works with the Lion Chief Plus 2.0 app as well. Here's the locomotive, and there are a couple little figures in there. There's an engineer on this side. You can maybe see him through there. And on the other side, we've got uh, another figure, a fireman or a brakeman, whatever. So two figures inside. That's uh, also a bonus. I wasn't expecting that, so I'm glad to have that. Here's a little gondola car. This would be for the presents. There's a little saying on the side that says, do not open till Christmas. So that would be for the presents to go in. One of the things that I'm not really pleased about is Lionel made this with non-working couplers. So these couplers don't work. Uh, they don't connect. They don't uncouple. They just are all plastic or whatever they're made out of. Here's the locomotive for the Elf Work Train, and it's actually, you know, pretty attractive. It's nicely painted, nicely colored. It's an 060 configuration, and it looks pretty good to me. I'm uh, pretty pleased with it. We'll see how it runs in, in a few moments. These cars could be hooked up in any order that you wanted, probably, but this is the order I put them in. This is the presence car, the gondola car full of presents right behind the locomotive and then following that is the toy shop repair crew transport uh, gondola car and next is the toy shop tool car that's pretty uh, cool looking, it's the regular Polar Express colors and then of course the Elves couldn't do their work without a hot cocoa supply, so here's the little hot cocoa tank car that's part of this. The final car in this consist is the one labeled the Boss. That would be the car where Santa Claus presides over the work crew. The locomotive's got a nice headlight on it, 
it's again painted very nicely the colors look good on it and we need to now find out how it actually runs so let me get that going and we'll see what we have the whistle on this is kind of weak not much there let's see what the bell is like that's better now let's give it a go and see how she runs I'm controlling it with the Bluetooth app on my iPad mini and it is smoking and making its way down the track. Good smoke coming out of the locomotive. This is a Lion Chief, not a Lion Chief Plus or a Lion Chief Plus 2.0. So working its way around the track. I'm not really running at high speed right now. I just want to kind of get a feel for how it runs and how the app controls it. Give it a little more throttle. That's a really nice uh, smoke effect coming from it. I think that looks good. The locomotive is chuffing. I'm going to add the uh, L4 pack onto it and see if that makes any difference in its ability to uh, maintain speed and get around the track. So far I'm just going on the level. I haven't tried a grade yet with it, so we'll give it a little time to see how it works. It's pretty good. Well, let me stop it now and we will connect up the rest of the four pack. I've added in the four train, four cars from the L4 train four pack. The only car that has a particular position it has to be in, I guess, is the uh, one for the boss, which is Santa. You know, it actually has couplers on both ends, so it could go anywhere else in the train, but that's just the logical place for it. So far, so good. It seems to be making it. I'm going to have it go across the crossover bridge. Here it comes. It doesn't seem to have any trouble at all pulling nine cars instead of five cars. So. The L4 pack I think was a good investment and it seems to be doing well. Let's see how she continues. There, that switched through automatically as it's supposed to when the train is coming along. I'm going to throw the other one manually to make sure I don't have any problems. And it's continuing to, to run, I think, quite well. I'm uh, pleased with it so far. That's a little hard to hear the uh, crew talk, at least for me. Uh, yeah, there's several different dialogue uh, elements. That's kind of neat. Okay, here we go. We get the Elf tr work train going and the Polar Express freight train going. And we'll see how that looks. The trolley is running.
That is by no means the maximum speed on the on the Elf work train. Uh, I've got the throttle not really advanced very far. Trolley's running nice today. I think uh, that's running very consistently. That's a good thing. I'm glad to see that. Going well so far. So, some final thoughts on the Elf work train from Lionel. It's a Lion Chief locomotive, and it does work with the Bluetooth app. It's colorful. Uh, the locomotive is functioning well. The train looks good, I think. It's, it's just like a really neat thing. And I think having the four-pack with it as well is kind of a, a, a nice addition to it. It just makes it that much nicer, that much more fun to deal with. And I think altogether, uh, I'm glad I bought it. I like it, having it on the layout. I think people visiting my layout are going to enjoy looking at it, playing with it. And I think that's uh, the important thing. I wish they'd done a couple things differently, working couplers, a better whistle on the locomotive, and a light, an interior light in the last car where the boss is. That would have been a great addition. With those few little nitpicky things, yeah, yeah, I'm glad it's here. It's, it's a good addition. Well, that'll do it for today's video, folks. Next video up, I'm hoping to do an unboxing of the uh, flat cars carrying piggyback semi-trailers, and that should be fun. I'm looking forward to that. Please be sure to like the video. Click the thumbs up down below and like the video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. I really appreciate subscriptions because I'm really trying to get to a thousand subscribers in 2021 and early in 2021 would be better than later in 2021. So please subscribe if you haven't done so already and share this video on social media or with anyone else you know that's into model railroading. As always, thanks for watching.